The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. Welcome to CGR Comics from Classic Game Room. It's a great day in space to read Robotech the Macross Saga issue number 24 from Comic Co. released in December 1987. Not too long ago, I bought a stack of random Robotech comics because I was curious about where they took the series, and they were really cheap. Definitely a mixed bag of quality, to say the least, but here we have one of the original TV show-based comics from Comic Ho, Robotech the Macross Saga, number 24. As seen on TV, this is basically just retelling Robotech the series in comic book form. I think I may have had one or two of these when I was a kid. I don't really remember much about it, except after reading this one, I gotta tell you, I'm impressed by the overall production quality here. The art is really good, the paper quality is good, and the ink is nice. It's a great adaptation of the Robotech TV series and a really nice looking comic book. In fact, on the whole, I would say this is a far nicer comic book than you would have gotten from one of the major publishers like Marvel or DC back in the mid-80s. If you've already seen Robotech a thousand times like I have, I don't know that you need to read this to get the story, but it's interesting to see the story as told in comic book form, especially considering how good the art quality is and really nice page layouts here too. The Veritech fighters and Zentradi battle pods all look really cool, the colors pop off. The page and the blacks are really nice and black. Great paper quality here. I, I saw this and thought, oh, I remember that being kind of cheap, but no, I'm not sure what I remembered, but it wasn't this. This is anything but cheap. This is a good comic book right here. All for a whopping buck fifty back in the day, which would have been about twice the price of a normal mainstream comic from the era. This is that part in the series when Lisa goes down to Earth and tries to convince the generals that we're similar to the Zentradi, you know, let's not fight them, let's negotiate for peace, which would of course be a very boring cartoon, so that didn't happen. And then Rick is all upset because he's confused about who he's in love with, Lisa or Minmay, which really isn't a hard choice, Rick, you're an idiot. And we get two of my favorite Robotech characters, Max and Miria, in one of the greatest scenes ever, where Max defeats Miria in the video game. So she uh, runs off and then later tries to kill him on their first date. The artist's handling of all the characters, like Max and Miria and Rick and Claudia and even Minmay and douchebag Lynn Kyle are very good. It's a cool read. If you're a huge Robotech fan and you, and you want to absorb every telling of Robotech, then you definitely want want this, although I haven't seen the rest of the series, so I can't comment on, on the other issues, but I would assume they're similar to this one. Good art, good paper quality, good story, and they're cheap today. I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to Carlos from Moonton Lupa City in the Philippines. Thank you once again, Carlos. And hey, if anyone's looking for a cool embroidered satin jacket to wear with your ultra tight jeans, look no further than this one from High Five. I gotta cut out this order form and mail it in. Wonder if it still works. Forty-two fifty, and that was in 1987. Damn! But it's got black piping. The best of classic game room is now on DVD, Blu-ray, and Hyper Laser Vision album set. How I would have written Robotech. Minmay, your singing is so great. Here, take a step out the airlock. <laughs> 